Yo YouTubers, it's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. It's the little craft beer festival time. Right, so I'm breaking my diet because I had to try some Scottish beers from Lidl, right? So let's get straight into it. I'm going to time check. I've got half an hour to to speak before this uh, camera does me all, me, uh, you know. Ah, what am I talking about? I'm boring myself now. Okay, we've got a beer to review anyway. A first time. And I think no one else has reviewed this on YouTube yet, folks. I checked out the the, 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 um, the brewery's been reviewed, you know, beers from this brewery. But I thought, right, a couple of Scottish beers, right, to try over the next couple of days to review. And, a couple of, and, I, and I got a couple of other things to try, you know what I mean, just to try, but... Today's review, brand new beer to try, right? You know what it's like, I'm getting excited, drum roll, I'm really excited, here we go. <laughs> from from Lidl's beer festival, uh, craft beer festival. I don't care about my diet, let's go, let's get drunk. <laughs> okay. Stuart's Brewing from Edinburgh. Um, that's a new word on me, Nepa, 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 Nepa. Which is a kind of IPA, as far as I know, is it? Is it what well, N E I P A? Is that like what does that mean? I don't even know, guys. You know what I mean? Right. So this is a brand new beer. Look at that fancy can. It's from Edinburgh, Stewart's Brewery in Edinburgh. I've never tried any of this before, guys. Whoa! I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay. Let's do the. Um, let's get on with it. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. Okay. Let's see what it says at the top. It says Craft Beer Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland. Neipa, N-E-I-P-A, Neipa, how does it, oh, New England IPA, okay guys, I got, duh, <laughs> duh, it's New England IPA, okay. All right, Galaxy Amarillo Hopped. This hazy New England IPA is bursting with juicy peach and passion fruit flavours from the heavy Galaxy and Amarillo Dry Hop. Full-bodied, super soft, mouthfeel and low bitterness. Edinburgh's original craft brewery, Stuart Brewing, have been innovating and brewing great beers since 2004. <laughs> Stuart Brewing Company, and they've got a website there, and it's um, brewed and bottled at Stuart Brewing in Lonead, Edinburgh. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> no. No, right here we go. Is any any other? Um, that's it. That's the description, right? It's five point three percent, produced in Scotland. I think I'm the first person on YouTube to review this. I don't know, but it's from the it's from the little craft beers range, which is started today, which is like the sixth of August, isn't it? Right. So let's go. Let's get straight on with it. Let's get into the can and let's see what we've got. The big visual glass so you can see everything going on like. Let's see. Ooh, quite hazy. Quite hazy. Certainly not fizzy. Not as fizzy as I expected it to be. It's quite tame. Oh yeah, there is a bit of a fizz going on. It's starting to come alive. I, I take it, I don't know, is it distilled in the can? I don't know, like. Right, we don't want the head too high. We don't want to get. We don't want the head too. Don't get too big. Big headed. <laughs> this this glass is just right for a pint, isn't it? Oh man, it just looks like pure orange juice, right? Get everything. Every little last drop. <laughs> Every little last drop. Scottish beers. I love beer. Like you know me, my favourite beer of all time is Bushies from the Isle of Man, right? So like. I take it that my taste is going to be Isle of Man, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, you know what I mean? They're, them kind of beers are what appeal to me like more than, and then and I think the Belgian beers come a close second, right? But look at that, mate. Look at that. It looks, just looks like pure orange juice. We've got a two-finger head. <laughs> Two finger head. 
Let's have a look at the nose. Let's see what we got. Smells like a lot of IPAs. Got that citrusy thing. Looks fantastic. Smells okay. 5.3% guys. Right? And you know what it's like with me. I'll try and cram. I, I would deck it all in one if I could. But you know what I mean? Like really deck it in one way. And just go straight there like. Oh, the sunshine looks so good out there. I'm gonna open my blinds. Hold on. It's a nice golden glow going on there, mate. Look at that. Whoa! I get great views of them. Um, it's that golden glow. <laughs> I get great views of sunsets from my flat. That's the best thing about my flat. I, I can watch amazing sunsets. You know what I mean. Anyway, let's get stuck in, let's taste this beer, let's, let's taste this beer and, you see, it's, I, what I like about it, like, there's not much going on in the, um, you know, it's just, pattern, like, a nice fancy pattern and just a couple of words and not, like, a, you know, like, dudes with six packs or whatever, like, standing all over the label or whatever, like. right, let's sort of get that in the sunlight. It looks, it looks like mud actually. <laughs> no, you know, it looks like me dad's homebrew when he used to, um, it was still in the fermenting bin and he couldn't wait and he just put his glass into the fermenting bin and drink it straight and you know, get, get a terrible headache, you know, but anyway. Let's go for it, let's taste it. My first taste of Stuart's from Edinburgh. New England IPA. Okay, Indian Pale, New England Indian Pale Ale. It's getting confusing this, isn't it? Anybody in England or India? Look at that, mate. The sun's shining on me like... Let's go. Up Elia! Mmm. Mmm. That typical bitter kind of grapefruit fruit flavour. It's quite gentle as well. When they say, without the bitterness, yeah. The bitterness in there, I like the bitterness, I like the bite in them kind of drinks, you know what I mean? Well, it's, it's been left out intentionally, so it's got a smoother, caramelly flavour, like, you know what I mean? With the citrusy sort of element. What were the hops called? Galaxy Amarillo. Galaxy Amarillo hops. How many minutes have I got? I've got a monitor, I've got a half an hour to go, like, right, so I've got about 10 minutes have just gone, roughly, or something like that, I don't know. So we're gonna go, let's get straight in there. I'm on a diet, guys, I'm trying my best to, you know, well, I, I have been losing weight before. I had some beers last night, you see, which I didn't review, because I'd already tried them, right? Uh, I felt so good last night, I enjoyed it, you know, nice real ale and that, like, and I thought, what am I doing to myself, you know what I mean? Let's carry on drinking, just enjoy it, you know what I mean? Just, Cut down the food and don't stop drinking, you know what I mean? <laughs> Cut down the food and don't stop drinking, alright? I like that, I like the taste of it, it's a nice vibe to it, like nice orangey flavour to it. Mm. Mm. Smooth, smooth, delicate, delicate flavour. Delicate flavour, very tasty, very refreshing. Um, five point three percent, so I'm feeling like the warmy, very slowly catching up the warmy alcohol feeling. I think it's been designed to have all those elements of the Indian Pale Ale, but be quite not too domineering in the taste. I'm trying to think what beer it reminds me of most out of all the beers. Um, man, there's quite a few. It tastes like quite a few beers, but we all know that the te the uh, the test is. And by the way, my fingers look dirty. That's like that comes off on my guitar strings. That guys, I don't know what it is. I play my guitar all right, and I use you know fast fret and and stuff like that. But it's ran out. You see, so my strings go rusty. Now, all my life I've played electric guitar and I've never had that and it's happening to me all the time, right? And when I'm actually playing and practicing, I feel like a nuclear bomb, you know? I feel like I'm like red hot 
and all the energy, look what it's doing to my fingers. And I, even when I go in the shower, it doesn't come off. Or I wash my hands in the sink, it doesn't come off. Right? But if you use the fast fret and all that, it doesn't happen. Or if the strings is brand new. But there's something nuclear going on when I'm playing, I don't know what it is. There's some kind of, I feel like a nuclear, like, reactor, like. Oh man, the sun looks golden for the change, you know. The sun looks golden, like. <laughs> This is tasty, it's nice, it's nice and tame and it's tame, that's the best description, it's not overbearing, there's no, there's no like choky flavours going on making you sort of go, oh, nah, grapefruit and all that, it's, it's a very mild, whoa, what, would, what would I say, passion fruit maybe, a little bit of mango passion fruit kind of taste, very tame, one for the ladies I'd say, I'd say, you, you, you know what I mean, it'd be ideal for your missus. For, you know, for your women kind of thing, and the dudes, you know, kind of like a, but the 5.3%, it's like, can be a bit misleading, can't it? Might have a bit of a, you know, like a, a bit of a shark attack, like, a bit of a shark attack creeping up on me, like, as I get pissed. <laughs> Let's see. Let's find out the foam. Oh, man, the foam looks like snow. It looks beautiful. Look at the foam on this, right? Just lower the camera and just, um... See the way it stays there, the foam, it's like, it's like a lovely... Man, it's like, um... It's like snow, it's like really fine bubbles, really tiny, minute bubbles. And it just looks quality, doesn't it? It oozes quality. I think, anyway, personally. You know, don't judge a book by its cover. Judge your book. It reminds me of like um, what comes out of the spin dryer, you know, when you when you done the washing and that. <laughs> it's like a like it's like washing up liquid in the foam or something like. But you know, <laughs> nice, nice quality. Really white, really white the foam like, and that dark muddy. <laughs> brown. It looks like scrumpy, isn't it? Like scrumpy cider. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get us, let's get them. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I'll just put like, um, I'll just put my TV on. Uh, by the way, I don't watch BBC, by the way, folks. So, uh, you know, if anyone's, uh, if anyone's spying on me, like any licensed people or anything, I don't watch BBC, all right, so leave me alone. <laughs> you bastards. Nah, I'm not even, I'm not even feel drunk at the moment. Well, well I wouldn't, would I? Let's go. No, it's not much. Ah, oh, man, it's like on the tip of my tongue what other drink tastes almost exactly like it. But I think what goes in its favour is the mildness of the taste. It's very subtle, but it's there, you know what I mean? Very subtle. Very subtle. That's me, my overall opinion. Better turn this off, people, just in case the music gets me a copyright strike. <laughs> turn it down. <laughs> right, um, oh, I'm enjoying this. It's nice, it's mild, it's tasty, it's refreshing. I can imagine it being, it'd be delicious on a sunny day. I mean, I'll tell you a little drink. I invented the drink, right? And this is what it reminds me of, actually. Um... I invented the, you know the way you invent cocktails, you know like, you know the way um, Guinness and Champagne is called Black Velvet? Well I in, I invented this drink and I called it, I can't remember what I called it, like Bolling, uh, Barley Orange Crush or something. Barley Orange Crush or something. And what I used to do in the hot summer, you know in the hot summer days when I used to like live in my mum's and I'd chill out in the garden, right? I used to have barley wine, you know, gold label barley wine, right, guys? Try this if you've never, you've never tried it. It's really nice, like, you know what I mean, right? Chill some pure orange juice in the fridge, you know, pure quality orange juice, you know. Not Robinson's barley water or whatever. Pure orange juice, right? Chill that in the fridge, right? And your cans of barley wine, gold label, right? And then top, pour the whole can of barley wine in a pint glass, right? And then top the rest of the pint glass up with pure orange juice, right? Man, it's a lovely drink. It's really refreshing. 
and you know that the 9% or 8%, I'm not sure what it is now, it used to be 10% barley wine, that 9% or 8% beer alcohol, it, with the orange juice, it doesn't get diluted at all, it tastes amazing, there's a lovely bitter taste to it, like, it's like my invention, like you heard it here first, barley orange crush, or something like that, barley wine orange crush, try it but this is what it reminds me of this like it's it hasn't got the bite and the the heavy duty grapefruity taste you know what i mean it's it's kind of mild i can feel the alcohol in it though it's it's kind of watery even like you know kind of like it's creeping up you know mm. i like it i like it it's not making any claims on the on the can, is it, of anything like mind blowing in the taste division? It's not doing that. Like, I mean, I give them that. Idea. It's, it's exactly what they say there. Let's see that again. Let's read this again to confirm. Galaxy Amarillo. They're the two hops, Galaxy and Amarillo, whatever they are. Right. This hazy New England IPA is bursting with juicy peach and passion fruit. I was right, wasn't I? I said mango and passion fruit. It's peach, it's peach, it's not mango, it's peach, it is peachy, it's got a peachy taste, spot on there, like. Um, from the heavy Galaxy and Amarillo dry hop, full bodied, super soft mouthfeel and low bitterness. Man, they couldn't have done, super, super soft mouthfeel and low bitterness. They've, they've nailed that one, they've described it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly described. There you go. And there's the little like, the little like, you know, the little guidance, little things. There you go. There is there. You want to read it yourselves and pause it like. But I think I'm the first person to review this on YouTube. I I, I want you know I always I, I always check to see if anyone else has reviewed it because I want to know what they think. And I didn't couldn't find this one. You had all the drinks from uh, the Stewart's Brewery, Stewart Brewing. You see the logo there, it's like a letter S with hops. Quite um, quite state of the art and stylish that, isn't it? <laughs> That's nice that, it's very, very mild and I'm feeling really nicely, oh man. You know what, it's weird man, I've learned something as I got older. When I was younger and I was a punk rocker and and I used to drink anything and everything in sight, right? <laughs> man, I'd have some terrible days the next day, you know, hangovers and stuff. When you drink craft beers, you don't get it, do you guys? You, you wake up the next day and you feel like you've got some kind of benefit rather than a, like a handicap. And that's what craft beers are about, guys. They're, they're tasty. This was, um, I think it was once, I don't know, it was 149 Let's have a look what the price is here. Why did it, why did it put this down? I had the page open. I had to open up the page, you know. Right, come here. Come on, come here. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, 179. 179 a can, which is quite high, you know what I mean? Because like 149 or, or 129 or something is the usual kind of. But I think while they do these beer festivals, you know, these craft beer festivals in Lidl, they lower the price, don't they? So in other shops, when you buy them normally, it's not the festival. You probably pay a little bit extra for them, like, you know what I mean? But so far, yeah, I'm feeling the alcohol warming me up now, you know what I mean? I'm feeling the 5.3%. It's just very gentle, very nice, very enjoyable. Man, it's, 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 it's cool, it's different, it's different. It's smooth, exactly as they say. Mm. Mm. Very delicate, delicate. But well, yeah, I'd buy that for me missus. That's a kind of, it's a, I mean, that's, that's what I'd recommend. You know, you could drink it yourself and your missus would enjoy that as well, you know what I mean? Mmm, nice. Okay, yeah, peachy and passion fruit. Peach and passion fruit, that's what it is. There's no grapefruit, that's why there's no bitterness. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. As long as I get pissed. <laughs> that's all that matters, really. I don't really... Me, personally, guys, I'll drink tequila, you know what I mean, or something like that. But 
I'm playing safe because I don't want to get like step into alcoholism or nothing like that. Why does my beard look blue? Doesn't my beard look blue on this video? Chicken and blue beard. <laughs> <laughs> blue beard. I'll be reviewing this later by the way. I'm gonna drink some of this later and I'll be reviewing it later. <laughs> it's got it's got alcohol in it. That's all that matters. <laughs> sanitizer, you know what I mean? Like take some sanitizer. On today's show I'll be reviewing some of Scotland's strongest sanitizers. <laughs> Three hours later, it's not as strong as the methylated spirits with a wee bit of lemonade, but it's alright. Nah, that's not bad, that. And it's tame and it's different. That's the thing. I didn't expect that. I expected something with a bit of bite. But no, the can, I didn't read the can in the shop, you see. I didn't have a clue until I got back. Like, blue beard, man. Have I got a blue beard? Oh man, it's is it distilled in the can? Delicious. I got some more beers from Loch Lomond Brewery as well, but they've already been reviewed on YouTube, so I thought I'd leave that later on. Like I haven't tried them, like you know some Loch Lomond beers. And um, I got a bottle of stout to review, which is a, which is a new one, the marshmallow stout, well, which is new on me just to try it out. And a really fruity thing, you know, like a thing with loads of tropical fruit in it to try, like but. You know, while the beer festival is on, like, and then I'm, I'm going on a diet soon, you know, fasting, I'm going heavily fasting diet, so I won't be doing any reviews for a while and all that, like, I really must get myself in shape in case I'm, well, I might be going to Scotland in the next couple of days, to be honest, I'm not telling anyone, though, <laughs> just put it out on YouTube, like, what are we on, anyway, I'll just belch now, sorry guys, if I'm starting to belch, like, 2109. Some people on these beer reviews, right, guys, you know, there's some fellas, right, they do beer reviews and they go, like, and the, you know what's funny about it? They're shameless, aren't they? They'll be like, they go, oh, it's a nice beer, yeah, right. And they go, Bleh. and it's like nothing, is it? It's like, no, let me say it. No, they don't go, excuse me. Oh, pardon me for belching, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they seem to think that because they're reviewing a beer, they can belch fart. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Anyone's watching out there, you do beer reviews, you know, you'll understand. Oh, man. I like that. It's, it's, it's catching up. It's kind of creeping up on me. It's creeping up. It's creeping up. Yeah, it's nice. It's mild, though. It's mild. The flavours. For my own taste, it's a little bit too mild for my own taste. I want something like... Dramatic in the taste bud sensation, but it's what they want because it, it says it on the tin, doesn't it? It's exactly what they want. Smooth. Let's see, let's, let's say those words again one more time. Full bodied, super soft mouth feel. Super soft mouth feel. It's a good name for the band, man, isn't it? Super soft mouth feel and low bitterness. Yeah, summed up and summed it up perfectly. Really spot on that. Great description. Right. Okay. So it's a New England. Uh, sorry, a New England Indian Pale Ale. And I like it. Let's finish it off and let's get the buzz. Let's go for the buzz. Up early, uh, down the hatch. As I'm watching the screen there, like Edward Woodward is on the equaliser with his bottle of whiskey and his glass on the on the. Um, Cocktail bar, like on the what do you call it, the the breakfast the the breakfast bar in his kitchen, like it, everyone seems to be enjoying a drink at the moment, like. And um, you know we're gonna get a second wave, aren't we, guys? And we better be prepared, and you know we, we might as well stock up. I'm gonna try and buy as many beers as I possibly can and put them in the in the fridge and everything. Yeah, as many toilet rolls, as many beers, <laughs> as many. I've been getting bags of rice and everything. I don't know. We're really getting bollocked, aren't we, by something going on, like, but the, the good news is, craft beers exist. You know, if they offer us, you know, they may try and make us accept a, a vaccine or the, 
the mark of the beast in the right hand or whatever like and we you know if I have to go on a guillotine mate <laughs> guillotine synchronised guillotines man you know what I mean that's why the way I say it like no if we all had a guillotine each right say we all had a guillotine each and there was a circle of us all in a circle all looking at each other like that with our heads on a block like that all looking at each other right and so that it's not suicide you know if it was suicide we'd be like scorned that wouldn't we for committing suicide if things get really bad so here's my idea guys synchronised uh, synchronised guillotines so we all got like you know, each, say, the man next to you is in a guillotine, the man next to you is in a guillotine, and we've all got our finger on the button of the guillotine next to us. Do you understand? So we're not committing suicide. Do you understand? And someone says, now! And we all press the button at the same time, and all our heads get chopped off. <laughs> and we don't have to worry about it, do we? Because we haven't committed suicide, because the man next to us has pressed the button. What about that for an idea, guys? Any of you goths out there, you know, them goths who've got, like, um, self-harming issues and they constantly think about suicide, but they won't because they think it's wrong, like, synchronised guillotines, that's the way forward, guys, all right. <laughs> nah, let's have a pint of beer instead. Smooth, refreshing. Quality, the smoothness is unbelievable, guys. I've never tasted a smoothness in in one of these new citrusy kind of well it's not citrusy really, it's not it's not citrusy at all. It's peach and passion fruit, it's exactly what it says. I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me, that was a sound effect, that was on tape actually. I like it. Let's assess the merriment. I'm feeling merry, I'm feeling quite cool, I'm feeling like I always like I always am, like I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's give me me, me review it. Oh wow, it's kicking in, it's kicking in. It's so gentle. Like I say, it's like a shark attack. Shark attack! <laughs> it's kicking in, it's catching it on to me. Mmm. Yeah. Out of ten. Out of ten. I'm feeling very merry. I'm feeling quite happy. I can feel warm. It's warm and up from inside, you know what I mean? I can feel that nicely. Slowly catching up on me. Mm, like a champagne-y feel. I always say champagne, don't I? Champagne-y. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Because it's smooth, because it's not like dramatic in the taste division, right? And because it might not be to my acquired taste. In the taste department, I don't know. I feel unfair. I feel unfair if I give it less than like a... I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, right guys? I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, right? But I think that the right person out there who prefers a smoother taste in beer or a smoother taste in drink they don't like anything bitter or anything like that. They might love this, you know what I mean? It's really nice and smooth and it delivers the goods. It gets you there, 5.3%. We're just above the Heineken level, aren't we? We're just, just, a little, just a little bit above the Heineken level. Yeah. Okay. An 8 out of 10. And if I change my mind later on when I drank the other three cans, I'll upgrade it and put, you know, in the comment section if it's a 10 out of 10, okay? Because, man, I'm not too critical, me, man. As long as it's not crap. That's all that matters, isn't it? As long as it's not crap and it gets you there. I have told a story on YouTube once before about when I went to a punk party and got drunk in about 15 minutes, drinking really fast because I was stealing all the alcohol off other people. I went to a party without a single drink and... I basically stole other people's beers and wine and, and you know, because I was stealing it, I had to drink it really fast. And I nearly choked on my vomit. I nearly had the Jimi Hendrix experience. I nearly had the John Bonham experience. It's not going to happen tonight, guys. <laughs> You'd be pleased to know. That's all right. 
Yeah, Edinburgh, Scottish beer, nice. I'm boring, I'm waffling. I think it's time to get off. I think it's time to have some of this. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. An 8 out of 10 for me personally, you might think it's a 10 out of 10, I don't know, or a 9 out of 10. But it's lovely, it's nice. It's the warmth I judge it on, it's the warmth and the feeling inside. I like it, mate. I feel nice. I feel nice. It's mad. I'm just what I'm just been talking about goths who have got like suicidal tendencies, and the goths just come on on the adverts. Like, hey, she's quite fit as well. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, folks. I've got a couple more beers to review. You know what I mean tomorrow or the day after or whatever. I might even go to the park and do a live rehearsal in the park and get drunk in the park, like, okay. I don't know. Some treats coming up, guys, before the next lockdown again. You know what I mean? We might as well get it all in, innit? All right, thanks for watching. Give it a try. Lidl's Craft Beer Week. Go, 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 go!